Must be blocked from the other side.
This land bears deep affliction.
One more enigma to unravel.
Did you hear what happened to Archibald? Aye, the drunken fool. I was there when he lit the thing on fire. We all told him not to, but he did tempt fate. You saw it all. Go on, tell us what happened. I miss, Wilfred. They're true. A legendary picked warrior who can rip a wolf apart with his bare hands. You saw him? I don't know what we saw. Not exactly. But there's something up there. Archibald held up his torch all brave-like after lighting the fire. The next thing we knew, his head dropped to his feet. We ran. Should we at least fetch his body? Huh. You can. I won't go back up that cursed mountain for all the silver in this land. Speak your name, warrior. Have it your way. Your life's purpose was to die for me. So, speaks. Are you referring to my father? Am I what? What you just said. Was it about my father? I said nothing. We have been silent since we came here. Liar! You did just now. As plain as you're talking now. You are mad. What did I say? A coward believes he will live unto old age if he stays clear of strife. But old age will wither him best, though he be untouched by spears. I said nothing of the sort, Trolltooth. That is the Allfather whispering into your big head.
What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I'll flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? Absolutely. Good. If you enjoyed my flighting, you'll be thrilled by what else a skilled mouth can do. Froda. Tall one, sit by the hayside if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear! We shall play in the river tomorrow! Aye. Now, the next matter for our owlthing. <clears throat> we need a name for our merry band. The choices are Raiders of the Cake or the Shadow Dragons. Stools on the hate side are for Raiders of the Cake and side with the sacks of beans for Shadow Dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one. We need your help once more! It is final! From now on, we are the Shadow Dragons! A fitting name for future warriors. Now to our next vote! <clears throat> what should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up! Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote!
It looks like we are tied. For now. Tall one, we need your help once more. The seeds have spoken. We will take the prisoner for questioning. The badge of wisdom shall be awarded to those who voted for this. You too, tall one. Remember, the more you know of your enemy, the better. Do not let any opportunity to learn more of them escape you. Froda, you had better be writing these words of wisdom down. Thanks for the help, tall one. The next generation inspires confidence. Snottinghamshire is in good hands. the cairn stones, high and wide. But they keep falling. You have to let the air and nature's beauty guide you. Shape, balance, expression are key. Oh, wow. Thank you for showing me how. Steady your hands and your heart, tiny giant. Goodbye.
I am proud the Lord speaks so cleanly through my soul here in Reconset. He talks of his instruments, and asks that I be one. It appears the Nephilim were at battle here long ago. Against the Great Tempest, some few protected us. We must honor these ancient paths. I have explained... The Kingdom of Bernicia and Element have granted me the right to worship here, by Edict of Yopa of Bernicia. The Nephilim were the only race with the strength to have moved such pillars, with the power of the Lord behind them. But what were they guarding against? Did you command them, Lord? Was it for the sin of people of other times? Was it to keep the demons out? and the Valkyries, and the saggy breeches. Come to me, Ragna. Find me in the frenzy. Come. Hail, warrior. Are these wetlands your longhouse? Your meat hall? This is a Drenger's ritual chamber. I am Skegholt, pledged to Ragna Lothbrook in hygge and body, iron and soul. I seek one willing to take the ritual and engage me in combat to the death. I understand. For an opponent, you could do worse than me. Join me then in Drenga Seder. Ragnar taught it to me at Uppsala for nine moons, and I never stopped. I will only fight one who enters my frenzy. For if we are not in the same state, I will have an unfair advantage. What is the potion then? Mead and rotten bread? A sacred ale of high, volatile spirits, and Thor's fungus, the Ammonita Mascaria. Ragnar and I would quaff this great elixir before each new raid. I often saw him transcend the laws of battle. Drink of the brew that bubbles here in my pot. Then we will enter the frenzy together, and only one of us will leave. For Odin, for Thor. For Freya, and the Valkyries, and the saggy breeches. Come to me, Ragnar. Find me in the frenzy. Um... May you walk the bee frost with heavy steps in you.
Now the All Father sees me. He opens his arms, ready to receive. You fought well, and our journey was fair. Now yours continues. Now I transcend. Farewell. It is my turn to see the god of poetry. Rest easy, friend. You will be avenged. Our bodies may be broken. Our pouches may be empty. But our souls will thrive. You will be remembered. What happened here? An attack gone awry. We found more of Constantine's Picts than expected. The rich have their numbers, both in coin and spears. My men were not ready, and we were overwhelmed. But I'm afraid it's not over. They know I still live. Hark! Pick tree enforcements! To battle! The spirit of my men are with me, and my spirit with them! Red is gone. What a fight! The picked King Constantine will feel a little lighter in the purse tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for your aid. Um, Call me Eivor. The name's Reacher. Reacher Sherwin. You know, we could use someone like you in our band of merry rogues and knaves. The poor get richer and the rich get poorer, thanks to us. We've a hideout in the woods. Drop by sometime. Share an ale, maybe. Maybe. Well, until we meet again. Sounds interesting. to rely on you lot to defend us with bows. Remember, faint aim never won fair battle. Again. Lord oh. grant me strength. Your end is nigh. Ready? Aim? Fire! Unbelievable! Which one of you did that? I did. What marvelous aim. For a moment, I thought my training was getting into these thick skulls. See if you can hit one of the targets above. That was sound aim! Amazing! That was a fluke. I bet it was. Yeah. I bet you can't hit that, uh... That chicken. Right over there. The one hanging from the pole. Go on, then. Hit that hanging chicken from here. No cheating. Chicken would require some kind of special technique. Oh, that's mad! Extraordinary! <laughs> that was true skill and aim. On the mark! Well, friend, you can count on us to lend a hand against King Constantine and his well-paid picts. And thank you for showing these turnips some skilled marksmanship. Visit us again. 
As for the rest of you... Keep practicing! Dang! Out of luck, Niedinger! <sighs> Stay sharp. Huh. Fight you in the bushes. A small gesture for their cause. <laughs> you look. Anomaly number nine. Feeling okay? Any adverse effects? I'm a little tired. That's about all. Why? You expecting something worse? Expecting the unexpected. It's hard to fully trust these things. I'll be careful.
for gifting our tournaments for seven missiles of salvation. Seven missiles? Is it viable? Why will we not go? As we get to the ruins, it seems the seven requires a human host. A human host? You mean rebirth? As one again? Yes. It is a small loss for a greater gain. A risk we must be willing to take. Number nine in sight, and the voices are still with me. That's strange. We're still not hearing anything. Are you sure they aren't coming from somewhere else? Like, from you? God, no. How would that be possible? Sorry, just asking. I got the data. Sending it now. More fire, more oil! Please! My family, they've died unjustly. They need to be burned. But this fire won't do. I must burn them before they turn into vengeful draugers. There must be something around here that burns. Oil jars for the fire. This should be enough. They rest in peace. Will they truly rest? You said the Draugrs, your family no less, would return vengeful. It's my fault. I killed them. My greed robbed me of my senses, and now my family. My brother was to inherit my father's wealth. But it was my right. They called me a lout, a disgrace. They were right. Now our family fortune sits in the house, worthless when there is nobody left to enjoy it with. A favor, I beg of you. Slay me so I may join them in Helheim and beg their forgiveness. Men like you deserve something worse than death. I hope your family condemns you even in Helheimer. Black spirits torment this land. Yeah. <sighs> 
Bad.
something is wrong. Foul. Cursed. This land bears steep affliction. Uh. 